Now, just as of recently, my dividend portfolio has been reaching brand new heights, breaking through new milestones, so much to the point to where I can't even keep track of how much dividend income is coming in on a monthly basis consistently. And this is because of a few reasons, of course. I've been buying a lot more stocks and ETFs consistently, which of course pay me dividend income monthly or quarterly. But on top of that, there's a set number of higher yielding options that I've also been adding to my portfolio like crazy over the past several weeks. And because I've been buying a lot more of some of these higher yielding ETFs, it feels like my total monthly dividend income and total yearly dividend income just keeps moving up which is exactly what's happening so in this video specifically i want to share with you guys five of my higher yielding income focused etfs that have been adding to my portfolio a lot of as of recently because not only am i a huge fan of every single one of these but also these etfs have been helping my portfolio add a ton of total yearly and total monthly dividend income consistently so if you want to see which five ETFs I've been specifically using to generate a ton more income consistently, make sure to stick around, drop a like down below, and let's look into the first ETF. If you are a dividend investor who wants to level up your portfolio, you need to be tracking your dividend income consistently. And that's why I created the perfect dividend tracker that I've used to scale my dividend income up to all time highs over the last year. Now, along with this dividend tracker, you're also going to receive my A to Z dividend investing ebook, which shows you how I personally started from $0 several years ago to now where I earn over $7,500 per month in dividends. So if you want this tracker and the ebook, go to the first link down below in my description and grab it today. Now, the first ETF that I've been adding to my portfolio a lot of as of recent over the past several weeks, and that is definitely helping my income skyrocket over that time frame, is one of my new favorites, QQQI or the NEOS NASDAQ 100 High Income ETF. Now, this ETF offers a distribution monthly, and the distribution rate is somewhere around 14 to 15%, which means more or less every single dollar you invest into this ETF, they're going to pay you or distribute around 14 cents on the dollar. Now, you can imagine as you buy one share, five shares, 10 shares, or hundreds of shares, that amount of money can definitely add up, especially when they pay out every single month. Now, the reason I like this ETF specifically is simply because the ETF offers exposure to the NASDAQ 100 index, which offers massive growth and gains potentially. But also because of the cover call option strategy, this ETF is simply able to distribute a massive, massive distribution to investors, at least it has historically. Now, the distributions for QQQI have been anywhere from around 59 cents per month, 60 cents per month, or anywhere else sort of in between. And because this ETF costs around $52 per share as a film in this video, this means that for every Every $50 more or less that you buy into this ETF, you're going to receive around 60 cents that following month. Now again, 60 cents might not seem like a lot of money considering you're investing $50 to buy a share of it more or less. But again, once you get two shares, five shares, hundreds of shares, that distribution rate is definitely going to help out generate a ton of income for your portfolio consistently. Now, another higher income focus ETF that I've been buying a lot more over the last several weeks, which is helping my income rise up quickly in my portfolio, is SPYT or the Defiance S&P 500 Income Target ETF. Now, what I like about this ETF is it has sort of a simple strategy, which it aims to achieve a target annual income of 20% in the S&P 500 using options, and it pays out monthly. Now, the way this ETF works specifically, and keep in mind, guys, I go over all these ETFs individually on my channel. So if you want to see a deep dive into any of these, make sure to subscribe and check out some other videos. But it says right here that our strategy revolves around holding shares of ETFs that track the S&P 500 performance and engaging in selling of daily credit call spreads on the index. So by utilizing very short duration daily credit call spreads and using ETFs to track the S&P, you're getting some exposure to the S&P 500, but through selling of daily credit call spreads, you're earning a ton of income because of the use of this strategy. Now, as you see right here, this ETF does have a target of 20% distribution, which is massive. I mean, that potentially means that your investment could be paid back within five years. And that's, of course, only considering that this ETF trades sideways. Now, that also means that for every $100 that you invest into SPYT, you're going to earn somewhere around $20 per year in distributions. At least that's the target. And as far as distributions up until this point, they've been very solid and pretty good. Anywhere of a consistent 30 cents, 32 cents, or 33 cents every single month since inception. Now, again, by doing some very simple math, as of recently, I think I added 100 or so shares of SPYT, which right away added an extra $33, $34 in income to my portfolio that quickly. So again, if you're looking for income potential, and if you do believe in this strategy, definitely look into SPYT a little bit further. Another one of my favorites that I've still have been adding to my portfolio, even though I promised I was sort of maxed out in this position, is the NEOS S&P 500 High Income ETF or ticker symbol SPYI. 
Now this ETF does exactly what QQQI does, but instead it tracks the S&P 500 and uses that. And by doing so, this ETF offers monthly distributions also with a 12.19% distribution rate, which is not bad whatsoever. Now, this means with every $100 that you buy into SPYI, you're going to receive somewhere around $12 on a yearly basis in distributions. But on top of that, because of this strategy, this ETF also has the potential to rise up in price too. Ever since I started buying SPYI earlier this year, I've been getting paid around 50 cents for every single share that I own across my portfolios, which at this point, now that I own over 800 shares, is definitely adding up to a sizable, sizable amount of income. Now, again, if you want S&P 500 exposure, but you want that exposure in an income-focused setting, this ETF is 100% worth looking into. The next ETF that I've been buying as of recently, which is also definitely helping me raise my income up in my portfolio, is an oldie but a goodie, JEPQ, the JP Morgan NASDAQ Equity Premium Income ETF, an ETF that I've held on to for now several years and haven't really added much to my portfolio up until as of recent. Now, this is simply because although I'm a huge fan of JEPQ, it just seems to keep trading up into the right and it's kind of expensive, but I said, you know what, I'm going to start adding shares of it to my portfolio, and that's what I've been doing as of recent. Now, JEPQ, of course, gives you exposure to the NASDAQ 100, but with less volatility because, of course, it offers that option overlay. And as far as income goes for JEPQ, for every share that you buy, which is somewhere around $56 per share, you're talking anywhere from around $0.50 cents on a monthly basis downwards to around high 30s or anywhere else in between, depending on what volatility and option pricing is like. But the other great thing about JEPQ is that this ETF also has grown over time and it's up substantially from when I first started buying shares of it years ago. All that to say that JEPQ is definitely an ETF that's helping me raise my income consistently and a lot of my portfolio because it offers somewhere around a 9 to 11% yield. Now, the last ETF that I've been grabbing a share of here and there, nothing crazy with this one, is ticker symbol ZIVB or the minus 1x short VIX midterm future strategy ETF. Now, I've talked about this one before, and this ETF continues to sort of shock me. The ETF is up on the max time frame, but also it pays a massive, massive distribution. Now, if you want to know how this ETF works, I've talked about this ETF on previous videos, so definitely check those out. But the ETF basically shorts the volatility index. Now, what this means is that if the volatility index spikes up, that's going to be bad for this ETF. But most of the time when the market is calm and even bullish, the volatility index will be trading down into the right, which means this ETF will do great. Now, the obvious thing here is that the distribution rate for ZIVB is almost 30%, which means, in theory, every single $100 that you buy of this ETF, you're going to get paid around $30 per year. Now, this distribution rate could, of course, change anything to change in the stock markets, but up until this point, the distributions have been massive, around 48 and a half cents for every single share that you own of this one. And keep in mind, this ETF is very, very cheap. Now, this ETF in my portfolio is still a very small position, and I don't necessarily know if I'd feel comfortable buying too much of it, but it's an ETF that I've definitely utilized over the past few months to not only gain exposure to shorting the VIX, which is pretty awesome, but also to gain exposure to massive, massive amount of distributions. So if you have a little bit higher risk tolerance, definitely check out this one. You're probably going to like it. So that, my friends, are five different higher yielding ETFs that I personally am not only a huge fan of, but that also have helped me raise my total yearly and total monthly dividend income consistently and substantially in the most recent weeks. Now, out of all the ETFs we went through in today's video, if I were to ask you to only be able to pick one of them and hold on to them forever, which ETF would it be and why? Drop the ticker symbol in my comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like on it and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.